Good morning. It's finally Friday and I think for today we're going to call it Fun Bits. So I have a bag of all of these goodies that I showed you I had cleaned up off my desk and a couple that I threw in that you didn't see and then all the comments that were left um, for suggestions and tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw one item, draw my name, tape it on and then that person, and I'll read the um, comment that person will have to private message me so I could get your snail mail and send out your little goodies. In addition, in the description below, I will include a link to my Facebook question. And I put in some of the most popular Friday, finally Friday, whatever additional names for my videos. And you guys get a chance to vote. Um, in addition, I've left it open for you to add your own in case um, there's an overwhelming um, desire to add something that's not already on the list. So let's make this fun and I'm going to start drawing. So um, first thing will be for this mini, um, this was an ATC swap that I did uh, in June, I think, for your paper pantry. And I made it like a itty bitty little mini junk journal, or no, uh, smash book. And it's a prototype, so it's not pristine, so just be aware of that. And there's a couple of quotes inside, age takes a toll, please have exact change, everything happens for a reason, with a band-aid, and if at first you don't succeed, try doing the way your wife told you. So, there you go. That's a cute little thing, and it has my name on the back. So, here's that, and I'm gonna try not to dump anything on the floor, and pick one. And this is... This ATC is going to uh, Cargan. Car Cargren. Uh, fabulous Friday f <laughs> Figly Bits. I've been knitting and making a few cards. Love the little giveaway of Figly Bits. Great idea to give them away. So there you go. So this is for you. And instead of taping on top of this because it's not on a plastic bag, I'm just going to tuck it inside so private message me your snail mail and I'm going to put this off to that side okay this is for a pack of Bob <laughs> it's the Bob the Rat so let's see Bob the Rat those two and I'm sorry if I get uh, interrupted Goldie Fishels Goldie Fishels can't believe someone wouldn't let you know that they've won. Well, that happens. I have won uh, three items since January and haven't received any of them. I'm so sorry. Are, are any of them from me, Lucinda? Because um, I it could be. Love the ATCs. Beautiful layout. Thank you for sharing. So this is for Lucinda. Lucinda, you get Bob. And so I don't make any mistakes. You're taped on. Okay, next is, oh, this is a good packet. This is a packet of the tiny library pockets. One is not put together, but the rest are from SCI papers. And I wonder if I should put this in a bowl. They're pretty contained for now, but we'll see. Okay, this goes to, drum roll please, oh, Artsy. <laughs> Artsy Mouse. Now you're seeing that I didn't look. Friday Mash, Friday F Funky Friday. Wow, this is hard. So, Artsy Mouse gets this, and for those of you who don't know, that's uh, formerly Tuberdon. So, there's that. Next, well, let's get this big item out of the way. Um, I didn't have this in the video last week, but this is a um, Camembert box, and um, I'll include a link right here. I had embellished this. Uh, with some printed paper from my Imagine. And it's actually really cute because you could totally fit a round mini inside. This could be painted, um, it could be covered in paper, you could just brush on um, whatever your favorite um, iridescent medium is. So there's that's for this. Oh, yeah, this one just jumped out. So the Camembert bo box goes to Texas Jane. How about calling it In the Mood Fridays? You can post whatever you're in the mood for um, or to do. 
I would love to win some of your goodies. I plan on going to a birthday party tomorrow, and I've altered a dress form. Oh, share with us! And made a couple of paper flowers. I'm way new at the crafting, so I'm just learning. We're all learning, no matter how new or how much of a veteran we are. Love the dress form and the girl die cuts. So there you go. Texas Jane gets the Camembert box. And you can use, the, hopefully use the video that I show that I'll link uh, for inspiration. Let's see. This is for the tiny little bag, the bag of tiny little tags, which is also a McGill punch. Well, this is fun. I hope I don't get interrupted by, oh, I don't know, phone or something else. And this goes to Holy Scrap123, who's Norma. Fiesta Friday, tee <laughs> I like your Friday videos. It gives us a chance to catch up on what you've been up to. By the way, I think I won one of your recipe cards. Oh! Norma, this is perfect because I found the card, but I never received it, and I'm really, I'm so sorry. Uh, total administrative error. Can we blame somebody else? No, it's entirely my fault. I'll be happy to get those rubber stamps off your hands. Ah, oh, bummer. Somebody did claim them. Uh, if the winner doesn't clean them, tee I agree with you. I'd rather punch out paper scraps and keep them in strips. That helps out when you need something quick to embellish. So here's your... You get the little... Tiny little envelopes. Or tiny little tags. So that goes to Norma. So the next one is the... Um, Die cuts, leftovers from a pro from an ATC project. Um, and these are the three different shapes of... Um, silhouettes from uh, cut from my Cricut from I think it's from oh my gosh I can't remember the name of the cart but this goes to Cyber Blonde 9404 uh, how about Craftastic Friday so there you go Cyber Blonde you get the little packet of die cuts Okay, next. Oh, this was not in the original video, but I found him and I didn't have the heart to throw him away. <laughs> He's also left over from a recipe swap, recipe card swap, and it's the rooster Sizzix die, but it's all put together and em embellished and googly. -like. Pam, don't look, don't look. So this goes to Whitney Fletcher. <laughs> Whitney, you get the little tur the little rooster. I love the girl deck cut. Super cute. Fabulous Friday or Fantastic Friday. I'm not great with catchy names. Oh, but you know what? We could all learn from each other. So um, I'm not going to take this on. I'm just going to wrap it around so we know that Whitney gets the rooster. And uh, this is... I almost didn't give this away, but you know what? I'm going to keep my word. And it's a packet of tiny little envelopes, which are not only already put together, but they even have dimensional adhesive in the back, or 8-inch dimensional adhesive. So I'm just going to keep moving this around so it's fair for everyone. And the envelopes go to 5 Red Bird. Cute bits and bobs. Love the ATC and the motorcycle stamp. So you get the packet of tiny envelopes. Oh, I like this. I'm going to be clearing off my desk. Okay. This one is for the mason jar. And it's corrugated chipboard or corrugated paper. This goes to Pat's Treasures and Crafts. Uh, I can't think of any good names for Friday videos. I like what someone else suggested. Friday Fun Bits. That way it covers just about any topic of your videos. And, and your videos are fun. Thanks for sharing, Pat. And I... For those of you who see, Pat left two comments, and anyone who left multiple comments, I combine them into one, because I didn't want to give anybody else unfair advantage. So um, she also had, I thought of a name now, Fabulous Friday with Friends, or Fantastic Friday with Friends. So thank you, Pat. Um, this is going to go out to you. Don't forget, everybody, to, send, to PM me your snail mails so I can get them in the mail maybe today. This is the... Um, I think this is the book frame, the library, for, uh, the book frame from the Tim Holtz number 8 die, and these are in clear acetate, it's the recycling that I do from packaging. 
and this goes to and if any of you are not interested in receiving this just let me know and I'll send it I'll just pop it in somebody else's package like if you don't want to be bothered and I understand that I my feelings won't be hurt and this goes to Jackie scrapping Latina uh, can we go classy with finish it touches Friday or maybe a little seasonal finally or freaky fantastic Friday <laughs> They can change the seasons or not. Have a great weekend. So, Jackie, you get the little itty bitty um, stack of frames. Oh, and this I did add after the fact. So, let me show you what this is. Um, this is some leftover paper that I had printed with my Imagine, and it's the advertising paper. And I don't remember which uh, Cricut Imagine cartridge it's from. But I think there's five, um, five and a quarter by three and three quarters. So it's not bad, right? I hear doors closing, so you might hear dogs in a second. Barking up a storm, or not. Okay, this goes to Mimsy Whimsy, right? Oh, by any chance, it wasn't me who won one of the rubber stamps. No, sorry, it wasn't. <laughs> I can only wish. <laughs> Keep watching, because I, I give away stamps every time I have a haul. Um, what I'm doing this week, I'm still unpacking and trying to put my new room together. I miss creating. I think I would, too. So, there you go. Maybe this will serve as a little inspiration. I'm not going to tape on the paper. I'm just going to tape on the actual pulled name. So, this goes out to you. Uh, oh, these, ouch, sorry. This is um, cutouts of Girl. It's a Sizzlet die. And this goes to... I had a lot of stuff to give away, so there's a lot of winners. This goes to... Oh, how about if I put that down? Make it easier. I almost want to have music playing in the background, except that YouTube will flag me. This goes to Kim Scrapper. Natasha, what about Wrap It Up Weekend or Finale Fridays? I really like fi Finally Friday, but I hope you find some something you like better. I love those mini file folder library pockets and mini envelopes since I couldn't afford the shipping or give them my firstborn. Yeah, you kind of don't want to give that one away. Thanks for passing goodies on to all of us, Kim Scrapper. So you get uh, a little itty packet of die cuts. And I'm taping these on so I don't lose them on my desk or misplace them. Oh, I think this is going to be a popular one. So let's see. This is a metal flashing die cut of the dress form die with some of the formerly dollar spot Michaels um, felt flowers that are um, glued on there. And some of these are a little sharp, but you know, it's not too bad because when it when it die cuts, you see it folds slightly in for those of you who are interested. So it's not too bad. And, you know, you're not trying to... I suppose you could chop vegetables with it, but why would you want to? <laughs> okay, and the die dress form goes to Dana, 1214. Wrap it up. Um, F-W-U. <laughs> <laughs> Love the ATCs. So, well, sorry you don't get the ATCs, but you get the dress form. And I think I have your address, Dana. Next is for this packet of uh, petal envelopes, also a McGill punch. And I keep reshuffling this only because I want to make sure it's fair. And these go to... Miss Lady 53, wedding gown for a client. I think that's what she's working on, is what I'll be doing this weekend. No crafting for me till that's done. Hopefully that's been done and over with, and now you can play just for the sake of playing. I don't know if any of you had seen, um, we got an unexpected snow yesterday in Connecticut, and it's melting today, but we're supposed to get 6 to 12 inches tomorrow, which is going to be a giant surprise for my parents who are on their way back from Florida. Oh, this is the tiny little uh, file folders. And there's even a little paper clip. And that paper clip, the itty bitty paper clip, is from Dana. She had sent it to me in a uh, package from one of the swaps that she was in that I hosted for True Blood. So this goes to. Oh, 
Tabitha Grace Jones. Last time, I don't know why, I don't think of it before, the e-files, Friday e-files, um, she had suggested um, kind of in, in, um, in the vein of X-files. So you get the little file folders. I hope you guys are getting stuff you want. Next is a packet of leftovers from a project that are, um, I think this is basic gray Indian summer paper and chipboard of the cute little acorn. I can't see anybody's name, so it's not like I'm picking it specifically. Okay, this is from Esther Crafts. Uh, Philomena, no, Philna, Phenomena. Friday, as in Phenomena Friday. <laughs> anyway, can't believe uh, people actually win giveaways and don't f feedback. It, it happens more often than you would think. I uh, love to get my hands on some of those cute lace or die cuts. All the best choosing Friday names. And you get the little acorn. Uh, the acorn die is from Ellison Education. It's E L L I S O N which is a subsidiary of Sizzix. This is for leftovers from my uh, September ATCs from your paper pantry. There's a stack of vintage images and a bunch of the embossed black cards and tiny little um, tag and leftover lace. I just put everything all in one. I don't know if I showed this last time. But, ooh, one fell and I got it. And this one goes to Shab Addiction. That's Amy, who's a fellow um, uh, Stamper's Best Design Team member. Sorry, I had to plug my camera in before the power runs out. I like Friday Fun Bits, too. As for me, I'm trying to complete my Halloween mini. Uh, so do I. So my, it's going to be scary rather than cute. I'm always for scary. Uh, but I'm not totally in the Halloween mood today. Have a fab weekend, Amy. So, Amy, you get my um, little ATC leftovers. Uh, we have, I think, four more things. And then, I'll thank you for your patience. This is for a pack of plastic recycling, and some of it is cut into little tags already. And that goes to Mom SYDR, Sci Doctor. How about Friday finishes or Friday fun bits or finish up Friday or fun finds Friday? You had lots of ideas. Just catching up on this weekend too. Um, I have a couple of cards I need to finish up so I've been surfing YouTube for inspiration and came across your video. Hope you like at least one of my suggestions. Have a great weekend, Natasha. Now off to Michael's to drool. Hugs Debbie. So Debbie gets this. Um, I've actually not gone to Michael's on purpose. I'm trying to use what I have and not spend money. Um, this is a packet of um, Sizzix strip dye uh, little envelopes and they have a tab closure. You could tell. There's quite a few of them and they've already been put together and glued. And, and just white card stock. It's not paper, it's um, cover stock I think from Staples. And this goes to Ultimate Cruel Girl. Actually I think you changed your YouTube name so uh, let me know. I really like Finally Friday. The other thing I can think of is Fabulous Friday or Fan Freakantastic Friday. That's good but you know the longer it is people lose attention span. Uh, now, aren't you glad I rushed right over to lend you my creativity genius? Of course I am. So many delicious tidbits and bobs, and you're giving away. Very generous of you to do. Thank you. You are welcome. And look at that. You get one of the little tidbits. And you actually, it's like a practical one. You don't have to use them all on one thing. You could just have them in a stash. And the last two things I think I'm going to give away together, because only one of them is so little. 
These are the interiors of a, the pail and shovel die from Sizzix. Just didn't have the heart to throw them away. They kind of look like half moon and they're out of craft cardstock. Um, there's a stash of probably 15, maybe t um, 15, 16 of those. And then uh, little keyholes um, out of chipboard, which were the negatives from the Tim Holtz alterations. Uh, movers and shapers keyhole die. So these are going together because I just couldn't imagine splitting them up because eh, eh, eh. So the last one goes to Gift shop two. hodgepodge Friday would give you plenty of leeway to do anything you want really like your idea of punches on scraps Grandkids do this for me. That's very helpful that you have them um, for assistance. Later, hugs from Linda. So, Linda, you win the last two little tidbits for this week. So, this is what I'm going to ask you guys to do. Thank you for sitting through um, all of the this whole video. And what, I, what I've what i done is I've placed some of the suggestions uh, for the Finally Friday videos on my Facebook page. Uh, so if you're not already friends with me on Facebook, just click on the link below and uh, click friend and I will respond uh, throughout the day today. Uh, vote on the suggestions. I've also opened it up so you can add uh, things to the list if they don't already appear. Uh, and stay tuned. I'll have several projects posted over the course of the weekend. I hope you guys have a great time and at least have an opportunity to create something that you love uh, to do this weekend. And if you have any questions for me, uh, leave me a comment below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous weekend.